Now, less than two weeks to go uh, for the 21-day lockdown in India to end. The question is, will the spread of COVID-19 be stopped by the end of it? According to a Cambridge University study, the answer is no. It says that India needs to urgently think of long-term containment measures. A research paper has found that while the current lockdown will help, a relaxation after that will lead to a rapid rise in infected cases. The study has laid out four possible lockdown scenarios. First, after the 21-day lockdown ends on April 14, the transmission of the virus gets reduced. However, once the restrictions are eased, the infections start shooting up. Second, after the 21-day lockdown, a five-day relaxation period is given and then another 28-day lockdown is imposed. In this scenario too, the transmission rate of the infection gets reduced when the curbs are in place. But the moment the second lockdown ends, things are back to square one. The number of infected people start rising rapidly once the curbs are lifted. The first two scenarios both fail to control the spread of the outbreak. Now, scenario number three, lockdowns are imposed and spaced out with five-day gaps in between starting with a 21-day lockdown, followed by a 28-day lockdown, and then a further 18-day lockdown. That's a total of 67 days of the lockdown with a couple of five-day gaps in between. In this scenario, the rate of infections reduces uh, drastically or definitely in, uh, and hence proves to be reasonably effective. And the fourth and last scenario, a complete 49-day lockdown is imposed without any break or relaxation. After this prolonged lockdown, the number of infected cases starts falling to the point where the much-needed flattening of the curve takes place. Now, the Cambridge study has stressed on the need for different containment strategies. It has pointed out two differences between India and other global COVID-19 hotspots like China and Italy. India has a huge number of people living in joint families, three generational families living in one single household. And unlike Italy and China, those above the age of 60 and those below the age of 30 are in close contact at homes. And that makes the home a crucial spot for containment. And so the researchers have suggested three responses to it. Social distancing and isolation of older people in the house tracking young people in schools and colleges for possible infections, and last but not the least, extensive testing to get a grip on the veracity or the spread of the outbreak.